So the first one tonight is Shockwave. Welcome to Shockwave, a map for the Map Labs Jam event thingy. Basically, we had to create maps that just focuses on the visuals. So map has no puzzle. Okay, well, we're just going to have a nice little visual introduction to the map, uh, the stream tonight. Anyway, this map is made in 13 days, started on August 9th, finished on the 21st, and within those 13 days, I made something that I can't believe I made. It's one of those things that I find remarkable that I made alone. I'm also thinking of creating a sequel to this map, as there were some interactions that I was unable to put in this map within the time limit. Interesting. And we have... Um, a lot of credits and bits and pieces right there. But without further ado, let's jump into the maps. Music up a little bit, seems a bit quiet. The visual puzzle, see if you can solve it. Yeah, I think it might be too hard for me, Coco, if I'm honest. Might be beyond my mental capability. Did you make pizzas with it, uh, Mika? All right. What is this like World War Two or something? Are we in are we in the trenches? This is uh, interesting. Safety gate closing. I'm not sure we are saving the uh, closing a safety gate. I think we're opening a gate, if anything. Does that door open here as well? It wasn't a handle on the other one. Never thought to check this one, but no, that one doesn't open. Almost reminds me of the sound. The explosion reminds me almost of the sound that you get on um, Outer Wilds when the supernova goes off. So uh, yeah, there's some uh, interesting stuff going on here. Station one is not in a good state. Oh jeez, everything is just falling apart here. This is not good. To be continued. Oh man, you had 13 days, Ace. Come on, where's the rest of it? I was just getting into that. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, that's really cool, though. That is um, really cool indeed. Hope to uh, see more of that in the future. Definitely uh, building up to some sort of story there. Speaking of building up to some story, what is this? Quest for the Punchline Part 1. Bye. Uh, see, see, Sevens, Sevens, Shevens. Uh, um, anybody can pronounce that better than me. I take my hat off to you. Uh, four map series that takes place mainly in a short window of time, right at the end of Portal 2 main campaign. Follow the adventure of an early Peabody prototype date back from the late brain mapping experiments and whose subsequent decommission de happened shortly after the success with GLaDOS. Many years after you are reactivated by GLaDOS to fulfill a time-sensitive mission that requires immediate attention. This map requires hints on. Uh, hints. I'm not sure I want hints. Go on, Dialer Killer. What's going on? And there's their workshop if you want to see some more. But uh, all right, so we're going to be playing as an early Peabody prototype. It's interesting. So confirm fulfillment chamber of 17, chamber 17 protocols. Okay. 
Warning. Missing essential personnel. Chamber 17. Test run. 3, 5, 0, 5, 8. Deploying substitute agent. Prototype. Bot. Chassis. 0, 0, 0, 1. Please proceed to observation area. 58. And wait for instructions. Storyline's adorable. Alrighty then. Let's see what we have got, shall we? So. Do we get a portal gun at all? Hey, that kind of looks like my buddy. Interesting that there is like a, an air vent on the floor. We can go through it, but kind of looks like it serves a purpose. We've got a server room. That's where we came from. It's not looking like we're going to get a portal gun anytime soon. There is one there, however. See, there's a vent there as well, which makes me think I can use the vents. Somehow. Okay. Maybe not at the minute, at least. But yeah, maybe if we need to come back for that, we can maybe do that. Three five zero five seven. I'm sure, that's going to be important. Oh, okay. Please, press the button to confirm that the companion queue was in fact discarded. You euthanized your faithful companion queue more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Well done. Now, okay. Please return to storage. I know where storage is. So... Our mission there was to, um... confirm that Chell from Portal 1 had placed the companion cube into the incinerator. But to locate and retrieve a weighted companion cube. Okay. Wake up. Listen. Normally I wouldn't be messing with prototype models, but my other two are busy and you are the only one around in this area. I am in great need to retrieve something only you can get. I have a guest at the moment that is almost leaving and I want to give her a memorable gift. Turns out, the gift, that should be here, was lost a long time ago, and I want you to get it back. So, let's get to work. Okay, so we need to go and get the uh, weighted companion cube back then, I guess. Uh, sorry, not the companion cube, the... Um... In order to locate the cube, first, we need to know its path. Go to the last known location and initiate the simulation process. Let's go in the, um, the vent, though, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, we're going to climb through this vent and uh, find us a portal gun. Either that or we're going to have a massive... Uh, Xenomorph crawler behind us and destroy us. Excellent. So yeah, some uh, some time has passed. That is for sure.
Okay. Now just follow the projection. You might need to expand it as we go forward, at least until it hits a more predictable trajectory. Oh, this is the, um, okay. This kind of looks a bit like the, um, where you drop down in Portal 2. Okay, so do I need to turn on the incinerator? Oh yeah, definitely looks like the the place where you drop down right before you get the portal gun. So, hey, am I stuck? No, I'm not. But I need to find a way to open that up or move something across. There's a little hole over here. Which we're potentially probably going to want to go over here. Uh, that's one. Is there another pole surface somewhere else? Which I can utilize? Or maybe we're just going to have to jump in. Maybe we can instead drop down and die in the fire. Why not? <laughs> you know how it goes. I can't jump up there, okay. Follow the red light on the cable. Is that on the timer? I really hope not. Okay, let's expand the simulation. It's going to get picked up by the grabber. Nope. It's picked up by that one. Okay. And travels through there. So I'm guessing I'm going to need to turn on some sort of crane. I'm guessing also we're going to need to go back through this entrance here. Back to the pole surface. Be able to get into here. Those um, flame noises really kind of spook me out. Okay, we can jump through here now. Excellent. Great. The cube went back into the distribution system. It would be unfortunate if she woke up before you grabbed it. So go ahead. Jump in, and do not waste any time. Alright. That's part one. Let's see what we've got in part two on our quest for a punchline, or our quest for a um, companion cube. It probably should be. Um... Yeah, it's all the same description, so we won't read the description for the next few. 500 internal server error. Yikes. Server be broken. Unfortunately, there is a broken section of tube ahead. You will need to find an alternative way to proceed with your objective. 
I will maintain the projected cube path on your screen as a guide. Faulty screens. I hate prototypes. Okay, well, we still got a portal gun. See the projection? It crossed to the other side using the two. There are some complementary arrangements I need to take care of regarding her departure gift. In the midtime, find a way to cross this gap. Sure. That is not it. That is that is not the way. <laughs> See the projection? It crossed to the other side using the Instead we'll use this one, I guess. Complementary arrangements I need to take care of regarding her departure. <laughs> well. In the midtime, find a way to cross this. Wait, what happened to my What happened to my pole? I placed the wrong portal. Who knows? Okay. We'll head to the uh, control room. Although the elevator is out of service. Excellent. But the control room is up here then, isn't it? Big red button. So now I can do what I did before, and I can fling with the other portal surface, now that the chamber has been moved out of the way. Well, actually I say that, but... We need to get down, so we're going to have to use, yeah, we'll use a all surface to get out of there. I think that'll be alright to clear that gap. And through here we go. This should be where our uh, painting cube did go. There it is indeed. So we need light bridge. To cross over here. Light bridge to cross over here. Actually shot the right poles there without um, messing up. That's a first for me. I guess that's map number two. All right, so the very short and sweet maps. Go on to part number three. I made sure to put my guys. Okay. Onwards we go. Our cube go. Go to bad gateway. See the two? The simulation shows it went into one of the test chambers. I could give you a direct path to the correct one. However, I believe to just have found an interesting information about you. So. Basically, you're saying, I could help you, but you know what? I don't want to. That's what you're basically saying, isn't it, GLaDOS? It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very simple. 
definitely more about um, somebody exploring what they can do in Hammer, it seems, rather than um, puzzling. But interesting that they kind of like developed this story around the sort of lore of Portal 2. Well, not just Portal 2, actually, and Portal 1. It sort of combines them both together, which is um, quite nice. Am I going through here? I guess so. As a prototype, you are not connected to the central backup hub. It means that the occurrence of your death is most likely a one-time event. I am on a time constraint here, but I just can't pass this opportunity. So, get testing. Ah, we have a test. This... As a test. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty then. This looks like it's getting spicy. So we have an actual test. Not bad considering it's the fourth map of the stream. <laughs> it's the first one that's actually had a puzzle. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, so, um, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, this is a cube up there. Area up there where we're going to have to deactivate with X. X is here, as is square, which also disables that. So now we can do this to get the cube. Like so. Pull surface in here, there certainly is. And now we just need to get to the exit. Is there a glass there? I think there is. Okay. Not a problem. We can just go back like this. And this is probably the way you're meant to jump across get across or jump across or get across here in the first instance. Obviously we took a bit of a different route. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice, uh, nice linear puzzle there. Which is nice because it, um, given like it's been a, a simple map series up to this point, it doesn't deviate too your much. Mind is more complex and less restrained than your later model. The data related to the brain map used for your test shows high levels off. Hmm. That might be a problem. No, I am dropping frames. Two secs. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know if that was OBS or if that was Twitch, but um, OBS wouldn't let me reconnect for a bit, which was weird. All right, anyway, um, on we go. All right, so we've got another puzzle. We have another puzzle, back-to-back -back puzzles. Oh, man. Okay, that's... Um, I suppose it's the way the game does it, but... A lot of ant lines. That was also the wrong portal. I have to say, a good, good save. Pretty epic save. Let's try that again. I can walk on water. Whee! Where am I going next? I don't know. No. 
Oh, let's try that way. Might be a good direction to go. Or maybe, just maybe, we should have kept the funnel. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. I think I see what I need to do. I hope. Well, we'd have to send that to Hugo Mika to be the... Uh, I'll just randomly drop out the fall. Um, we'd have to send that to Hugo, of course, to be the official judge on that. Yo, DW, how you doing, my man? That's what I should have done. Fantastic. All right, then, we're going to do... What are we going to do here? Do we reverse the polarity of a funnel? We need to. What's the button for? Maybe the button's if you get trapped. I don't know. So why did that respawn? I guess I pushed it off. Okay, makes sense. What was I connected to? Oh, um, yeah, no, that was on, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I guess that's anti-trapping. If you need to go back and you've messed your portal shots up, that one's just anti-trapping. Although, how would you... Ah, oh, you didn't fling up there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We might need to have a little talk after your mission is complete. That is quest for punchline number three. Death wish. And there is one more of these. Which is, fully enough, called part number four. Who'd have thunk it? This will be our final chamber. The delivery point is up ahead. Delivery point is up ahead. You found it. Well done. Payload regulation complete. Just an extra incentive for you to complete your objective. Do not lose the cube. Do not lose the cube. Payload lost. <laughs> and it just kills us. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Wasn't kind of expecting that, but sure. I mean, that works. <laughs> the payload. No, not the payload, Evan. The payload. Can we have a um can we have a special shout out to Evan in the chat right there? Who has um Unfortunately, succumb to COVID-19. Bless him. Both him and his sister are unfortunately um, tested positive this week. So, uh, yeah. I assure you, he's getting plenty of PlayStation time to recover. <laughs> Alright, so we did that. Uh, I guess we can just bundle this from above, right? Bundle! Yeah, hopefully me and Mrs. Knock aren't going to uh, catch it, but 
Shame that both the kids have got it, unfortunately. Does that retract? Yes, it does. I like the, um... I like the use of... Like, almost like the Portal 1 tests. It's really cool. Are you going to make me incinerate the cube? I thought I was going to be saving the cube. This time around, we'll be skipping this part. There is another place where this cube... I was going to say. And time is almost running out. I believe she will wake up at any moment. Now, get going. Run! Get to the chopper! In my worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, of course. <laughs> Did that just say, like, remember the cube, even though I had the cube in my hand? That's a lucky guess. No! <laughs> Get inside and uh, bit too late for that, GLaDOS. Who was already way over the edge. Get inside and don't forget the cube. Yeah, I mean, by today's, like, gaming stand. By today's gaming standards, yeah, it's an easy game, but um, I think back when it came out, it was... Um, uh, there are some... Uh, you can get custom ma maps. The more... Um, the more mods, I think, on Portal 1, though. I hope that. Herbert Derp. Get inside and don't forget the cube. Save there. Alright, so Cloud just kills you. But it's just like, you know what? You suck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you wanna if you wanna play Portal 1 stuff, just look on the Portal 2 workshop. You'll find loads. It's all there. <laughs> So we've gone from like jumping out of here and failing miserably to now being completely not really lost here. I think I should have probably kept the cube. I feel like something has glitched out here though. Yeah, I can't even pick the cube up though. I can't even use long range use on the cube to get it back. So. You are stuck. Good job. Your death wish guy's brain plugged in, isn't it? It's one of his old timers has.
can I not bring the cube through here? Yeah, I can. Analyze. I love the fact that we just like farted our way to working out where the power source is. That was like something special right there. Uh, possibly to explain, yeah. That would make sense. Alright, so... Somewhere to portal. Don't you want somewhere to portal? The fact that the chair is there, I could do that. I need to keep it all. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with it. Maybe because my name's Knock and my space bar is broken. Um, all right, there is a walkway up top. Always look up. Da, 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 da. It's now open. You can walk around. What's what sound effect? You mean Peabody trumping? Arting, whatever you want to call it. Well, um, I'm guessing Q goes through here. I'm going to have to use the air vents somewhere. Just a hunch. No? Alrighty then. Fizzler. Is that it? We just literally walk through that door and it turns off. Say your goodbyes if you need to, but do it quickly. Then place the cube into the elevator. I am almost missing the timing. Bye, cube. Have fun at the, uh, have fun coming out the shed, right? That was cool. You fulfilled your mission. Well done. But now, we have another issue to solve. What to do with you? First, please proceed to the next chamber. Which involves deadly lasers. Leave that in the table. We need to have a serious talk. Please join me. And where might I find you, Gladys? Where are you hiding? I've learned today that individuals with high tenacity are unsuitable for testing. I do not know who hid this information from me, or how, but whomever was, it did a highly thorough job. Coincidentally, today was also the day I learned how to deal with such cases, and you, certainly are one of those cases. I cannot have the hazard of another highly tenacious lunatic loose in this facility, Later expunged. especially one with such a long lifespan, so I offer you, some options. I can let you go, and you can just leave. 
and walk out there until whenever your battery decides to run out. Okay. You can voluntarily eliminate yourself. Or you can go to storage and I will upload your data for further testing. I'll be honest, I prefer this last one. You are an interesting anomaly. I am highly interested in studying your behavior, especially after the day I just had. The choice is yours. Leave, die, or storage. We try all of them? Let's leave. Well, then it's goodbye. If you find her outside, ask her if she liked the gift. I was fully expecting like the cube or her to be in back in the elevator. Well, that was a pretty cool uh, little series of maps, wasn't it? Just want to hang about a minute just to see if there is uh, anything else here on the... Um all right, let's just check out the other endings while we're here, just to see if there's uh, anything more. Let's uh, obviously kill ourselves. Grinder. Death by Grinder. Is it too late to leave? Everything just, uh, everything just shuts down. Pretty grim ending, isn't it? All right, and lastly, we'll just go back to storage just to check out the final one as well. Thank you for participating in this Enrichment Center activity. All right, well, we just get to stay here, I guess. Be This is de-assembled. And uh, everything shuts down again. Interesting uh, thought there. So it's something I'd not thought about. Let's, um, let's see if we throw ourselves, if we throw ourselves off. I'm guessing the answer will be no, it won't count. Like the gift. No, nope. it doesn't count. Theory proved. Or, well, not theory proved, but at least we proved that out. But uh, yeah, that was a cool, that was a cool set of maps. All right. We got a map now that's called Aaron Drives You Crazy Difficulty Very Hard. Okay, by KNN KNN. Anybody know anything about this map maker or this map? Um, same see, dream again. Yes, Doctor. Same room. Yes, Doctor. Same cube. Same sphere. You repeat the same things over and over again. Yes, Doctor. Well, no, it's more complicated, Doctor. Well, you never forget this map. I promise. It's the one. It's the only one of its kind, featuring two very similar rooms that require two very similar. Uh, two very different solutions. Uh, sounds like twins from Leo. Um, Chamber can be solved without any cheats or glitches or crazy mid air ninja parkour or balancing on security cameras or making gel mess on every wall. You need portals and some thinking. 
floating stones in the middle of the rooms are for aesthetic purposes only. I encountered a strange bug once, only once, where a mere touching of the sphere caused extremely wild jumping of the player. If this happened, simply restart a level from the last save point. It was, wasn't able to find any info about this bug. If you know more about it, please write in the comments below. I consider this map very hard. Now, if you're not a world-class portal solver like Nick Scottney, I'm being called out directly. Oh my goodness. Then maybe it's easy to medium. Other than that, it's probably hard. If you disagree, write a comment below. Oh my goodness. Who knows my real name? Who is calling me out in a map description? Oh my goodness. Real name reveal. Don't go steal my identity, please. <laughs> All right. So they're saying it's going to be easy medium for me. Oh, geez. That's uh. That's a bit yikes. The pressure is on now, isn't it? All right, we got some uh, stuff down to a button. Turns that off. And we walk across here. No, but we can jump across here. Okay, and that leads to that and that. Gives us that and that. No, you don't. You don't know anything about me, Evan. You don't know nothing about me, boy. Oh, what we got up here? <laughs> okay. Get the sphere out there. Oh, okay, that's just going to stay there like that. Well, okay then. But I don't do that. For some reason I thought that was going to like respawn, but it just seems to sit nicely on there. Can I not get in here? Get in here. Okay. Ha! Ha 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 I've got to remember what happens here. Oh, hold on. This is probably just going to... Where are these panels open? I'll drop down there, though, won't it? I want to get my space bar. It doesn't work. Okay, so let's do this once more. Okay. I'm just not really sure what I'm meant to be doing in that bit yet. Let's go and check out what else is down here, shall we? Take a funnel, because that'll probably be useful somewhere. Uh-huh. A button. Deactivated. Ah, okay. I see what I need to. Do. I see what I need to. Do. So cube over to here we respawn this like so then we I could have got it out there to be fair but I think the idea here is then we do So, somebody want to tell me why that didn't... Oh, no, it's not there, is it? Hmm. Okay, no, my bad. 
For some reason I thought that the um, it would spawn once it came off the button. I don't know why I thought that. That's clearly not what uh, is needed. And we could cheese it like that. There's some cheese there. And there we need both of these. So, yeah, I'm uh, not sure what's so hard about this one. Maybe it's going to take a dramatic twist in the final part. Spin, spin, headless safety cube. Of course. Wouldn't expect anything else. So, part number two, so we're going to need to get some conversion gel. So first off, we're going to need to get over to there. So we can place a thingy on there. We can use that to get some conversion gel wherever we need to get it. We can probably see that from here, actually. Conversion gels want to go in here. So that's step one. Step two. Do I need gel over here? Yes, because that will give me that there. Now I have a way through into here. And from here, let's drop down, see what we got down here. Don't really understand what all this was for in the previous maps. I didn't really use it. I suppose it's my fault for being naughty. We're going to have to do something different this time around because we can't just jump down and fire onto there. So we're going to have to find a different um, solution. No worries, Minka. No worries at all. All right, so we can get into here. Use the funnel. Gonna have a look see what's over here. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to bring the gel through to here. That's going to open this. And then we can put all on the floor or on the ceiling. Take everything back. And take it to the other uh, side. And then we can do things and stuff. There's also a panel there. I'm not sure what that panel is for. Just keeping an eye out for that. So another panel on the other side. It's all rather interesting, isn't it? Figure out what to do. I was just about to say who washed my gel off, but nobody did because, um, yeah. Okay, so... Whilst I stand by my observation, I don't think this is particularly difficult. I'm not sure exactly how I do this bit. Unless there is a way for that to roll out, um, that would respawn. But I don't think that's going to happen, is it? It's going to roll down that lip and then it's just going to get stranded. Uh, yeah, the reason I thought that though, Team Spin, was because don't the don't the emitters like go? The emitters go into the ground, right? So the thought process there was like, they go into the ground, it'll create a flat surface for it to then roll over there. All right, so if that's the case, I think probably what I need to do is go back and get the cube. Now that is spawned. Now we open this up, like so. We jump across here, we put a portal. Yada and yada. And we fall into the uh, into deadly goo. That's a very important step that we need to remember. So we said we almost done the mass thesis. Wow, okay. No, take take your time, definitely, uh, Mika. Okay, so we spawn that. We don't care then about doing anything else there. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about the regular fizzler. I'm just thinking out loud, and I don't know for sure, but the only thing I can think is that the cube doesn't auto respawn, Sonny. Let's just rewind to what we had before. Save. Just like that, you see. So that's oh, you sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay. It's 
It's all good, Sonny, don't worry. Don't overthink it, he says. I'm always overthinking. I think that's how I was meant to do it in the first chamber. Could I? No. I could not. I was thinking, like, could I choose my way into that funnel? But no, I can't. Oh, wait a second. That could be cheesy. It is cheese, but okay, I need to go a bit earlier. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this now. The idea would be, as that is for, if that's traveling across there, as it gets towards the end, we jump through to clear the portal, and it passes through the, it would pass through the, um, yes, yeah, so it's traveling in this direction with the funnel, I then despawn the funnel at the right time, so that it kind of drops in here and then travels upwards, but it's just doing that bit, isn't it? If that is even what I can do, or what I'm meant to do. Which, if that's the case, that seems more execution-based than anything else. And getting that timing is horrible. Well, I don't know that I see... I 
I see a lot. It's not solution. Hey! Yeah, that is actually here in the chat. What is going on? Alright, well, if that's not the solution, let's try something else. Okay. Doesn't make a difference that I would have that on there. Where else can we get gel? We can't get gel here. We can't get gel. Get gel anywhere in here, I wonder. No worries, Mika. Have a good weekend, buddy. Should we check up here again? What do we have over here? We just had that and that. It's not a gel bomb, so we can't fling the white gel anywhere. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So it's not going to be a white gel thing. Two suspicious panels there. Good luck with the midterm. I don't want to do that. Let's uh, go over to here. Let's actually let's go through here. That is just a panel. nothing else to do here. Okay, what if we was to do... Um, well, here... Do a bottle there. Can we get some gel? Using this panel. That comes in there, and then we would do that per se. Sort of use like a dropping technique on the um, gel there, but it's me a surface there. But I don't think that is um, going to help me in any way, shape, or form. If I'm honest,
Maybe I'm just being like royally dumb. Uh, that's not far enough across there. Nope, being that stupid. sure what else to do with the gel then. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't going for an. I wasn't trying to abuse the gel. I was just seeing if, like, allowing the gel to drop through there, just naturally, would have placed it in a useful position. Which clearly it doesn't, because even though it's there, it's um, is the ball totally separated from the funnel at the bottom. Yes, it is by glass, Sonny. So the fact that that's like a green fizzler, to me, kind of seems like you have to manually respawn that cube. But I honestly don't know what good it would do. And I'm pretty sure gel doesn't affect the cube, does it? That wasn't very descriptive, but what I mean by that is... If I was to do this, for instance... That doesn't affect anything with the cube, does it? Well, I couldn't do that anyway, but let's just... And this is just like respawn just for let's pretend we're not for sake yeah that doesn't do anything nada hmm. <laughs> okay Touch seems a bit high. Um, what can we do then? What can we do? The chance seems there, but that wouldn't do anything. I've um I've got a height adjustable desk now, Sonny. Most of the time I stream stood up, but um occasionally I just change it and sit down. It's magic. It's 
See, if I could... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. How can I? How can I? Um, that calls that to, if that was in like the funnel. So this was in the funnel already. I could grab this. I can escape like that. So question is how do I how can I have this cause the cube to respawn Okay, that would be an interesting idea. Now, again, though, I need to get that out of there. I don't know how I'd get that out there. So, my interesting idea would have been that I stack. That wouldn't work, though, would it? Wouldn't work. Please ignore my interesting idea. It would not work. Also, you have no choice to ignore it because I'm not going to tell you what it was. I'm a big meanie. Anything I can do with the portals over here.
How do you get this cube out of here? Like, literally how? I get this key. I get, I get the edge of safety cube out, and the rest is easy. And I've proven a way that I can get the edge of safety cube out. I just don't know how I can get the edge of safety cube into the funnel. It would require a respawn, or portals are in position at the funnel and underneath the edge of safety cube, but that prevents me from getting up to the top caused the respawn initially. On a scale of one to dumb, how dumb am I being? I mean, um, you've already seen a death wish. Sonny has seen the light. Drive me crazy. Let's assume I could do a thing like this. I need to assume because I could do a thing like this. Y'all ready for cheese? Dun 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 dun
Just gotta make sure I know where I'm going out of this funnel. That's not where I was going. Yeah, it's too... If I was able to pull this off and like land on here, it's still not going to work. The cheese was too strong for Nock to handle. There's no quick way to push that button and then get back down here. Okay. So. What does that mean? That means that... Think about the ending first and then work back. Okay, well, the ending will be um, boom bidi boom So it will be cube here, edge of safety cube here, disables this laser, flips that panel. Uh, we'll flip that panel just so that we can see what we're doing here. Gives us that. Now we have that. We would go back into here. We go up this surface here. Replace portal there. We would do that. Then we would do this to go back to here. This would be open. We would fire a portal surface on there. We would go around here. We would pick up both of these cubes. We would drop them down to here. Blah blah blah. And then we would send them up to here, through here, place one there, one there, and then we're out. So, we've got the exit down to a fine art. We have these two cubes here. Now, we could do... Um, no, no, it wasn't working back at all, was it? It was actually working forwards. Um, all right, so then from here, to get up to here... We would need a portal there. And we would need to... I only need to have the edge of safety cube. Because we can respawn the weighted cube there. So we edge of safety cube through to here. That's what we're looking for at this segment. How do we get the edge of safety cube? Question is still in play. So it doesn't matter about that one though. We can put that. Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm just working through the whole thing because it just makes me feel like at least I'm trying. At least I'm making a bit of progress rather than just fumbling around like an idiot. Um, this cube here is dispensable. So, um, let's assume then, working backwards, we have this and this, this and this. Okay. So that's how we get that, and I believe we are going to get the cube one of two ways. We could either like 
fake into the funnel like that and do it like that way. Or we can travel into the funnel ourselves here, pick up the cube and go down into there. Uh, is that how we did it before? Oh, how did I do this before? Is that how I did it? I guess it was not. I mean, the other thing I could do would be do that, grab the cube, right? But anyway, that's how we get the, the that's how we get that out there. That's how we get through there. So we do need this to be in the funnel. So we can do things and stuff with this one. Then, like I say, it doesn't matter that, about the other cube because the other cube is dispensable. So we drop that through there. So the next question is, how do we get to respawn this while maintaining funnels and ourselves being able to get out of here? And the answer to that is, I don't know. Because there is a, um, there is a fizzler blocking our path down there, so we can't just jump across the gap. Although this does disable the green. But is that a... Why would we need that? Could do that with that. No. There I was thinking, what if I um, kind of jump through here and back down there? But again, that doesn't help me because although I could grab, could grab that. This is the worst. Also thinking back to the description though about what it said about there was an instance where the ESC caused them to jump like really weirdly. Oh, it's just if you're touching of the sphere cause extremely wide jumping. All right, so I don't think that's, um, I don't think that's anything to worry about. How do we, how do we do this? I'm honestly, I am struggling. 
struggling. This one. We can go in there, we can drop out the funnel. How does that help me? It does not. We can go up to here, out of there. How does that help me? A respawns a cube, has a safety cube, but it drops to the floor because we don't have a portal there. So that doesn't help me. If we had a cube on here, we'd have a constant source of white paint. How does that help me? I don't think it does. Okay, what if? I don't know if this would be considered as gel spam, of course, but. Here's a scenario where we could slow down the flow of the gel. But no, it's just all going to end up in there. I don't think there's anywhere to coat the paint there either, is there? Fumbly. How are you doing, Fumbly? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Ah, that was wrong, Paul. Ignore the gel spam on that wall at the moment. If you would be so kind. Mike's here as well. Let's go to Mike. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not what I had in mind. Hey, everybody in chat's got this apart from me. Just a tad bit. Um, the spiky, what the heck? The spiky geography, uh, geom geography, geometry you saw was exactly that spiky geometry. Yeah. Libby's here as well. What's going on, Libby? Oi, oi, Savaloy.
just not seeing this at all. Disclaimer, the description was wrong. It said it was a two out of th two or three out of ten for a for a knock. As far as I know, uh, so as far as I can tell, Deathwish has seen it, and so has Sunny. I am still yet to see it, whatever it may be. Want to know what's in my head? <laughs> what's in my head? Um, Yeah, I probably should. That's not. That's a bad. That's a bad call. It's not a bad shout. I feel like my tongue has. Left my head again, like last night. Deactivating. Maybe that's where my son and daughter picked it up from them fumbly. This map. <laughs> um do for the exit I just I, I genuinely don't know what to do genuinely don't know what to do about getting that the edge of safety cube out I, I genuinely can't see it I can't think past that part though, Sonny. That's that's the problem. So like we do this and this, yeah? That's in there. So we know that to get this we can do this, this, we can grab the cube, we can get that that we can get that edge of safety cube in a couple of different methods, okay? So we know that. That bit we know. Was there ever a level where I need to stop and play another level first? Um, 
don't think so. Yeah, I'm too focused on that because it's the only way I can see that to get the freaking sphere out, Deathwish. That's why my focus is like solely this bit. Um. The only thing I can focus on is this, this cube here. But then what can we do with this? The only put, So we can either put it on the gel, we can put it up there, which causes that to respawn, but to cause that to respawn, it's no good because that will just drop to the bottom and I can't push it across to there. Or we put it on there, which seems a little bit pointless at the minute, if I'm honest. I could take this to the same place as the um, Edge of Safety Cube to have both the cubes in there. Don't see how that would help me because the green field would then be up and we wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't then be able to do anything with anything. This is what causes the. to respawn which does nothing for me I mean to yell if I yelled I'm sorry genuinely don't see what to do here. There's three possible locations for the edge of safety, for the, the weighted cube. None of which None of which I mean what can I do from here? I can respawn the uh, the weight cube. That does nothing for me. This does nothing for me until I get the edge of the edge of safety cube through here because I can't then I can't get out with uh, a portal in place here. So this is no good at the moment. Yo, it's a Shamu Junkie. Where's my portal gun? My portal gun is still in a folder because I haven't put it back in the DLC folder since doing stuff with B mod. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting every time I play. I'm like, dude, I really need to do that. The only thing I can do here is respawn this edge of safety cube, okay? Respawning that edge of safety cube, however, <sighs> kills me. Um, it's no good because we can't get out of that chamber without going through a fizzler. Therefore, we um, lose bottles. The cube drops to the bottom. 
And yeah, that's that does nothing for us. So that's not the answer. If that's not the answer, then I don't see the point on leaving that on there. That to me seems like a bit of a red herring. So that then um, reduces the possibilities for the cube on there or the cube on here. So um, if we were to put the cube on here, what does this do? Well, it gives me a... A constant stream of white gel, which we can do that with. And then what can we do with that? Not a lot. We could put that onto there. Doesn't particularly help, though. We could do this to here and then place our portal over there, maybe. There we go. Well, it's completely the wrong portal, but hey-ho, it's all good, it's all gravy. So we could do that, and we can do that. What good does that do? That does nothing really for us. We could drop through here. And again, what does this do for us? Absolutely nothing. There is no benefit to doing this at all. All okay, so then we think about what else can we do if we were still over here. I don't know why I've gone into like this sort of tone of voice, but it's um, it's helping me get through stuff and, and work through my thought process at the minute. So I do apologize if it seems a bit cheesy. Uh, we can't see that from there, so there's no point in doing that. So if we was to have the portal on there, we can place one on here. What does that do for us? Well, it's um, allows us to do this, which sends gel into the funnel here, which then doesn't really help us do a lot there. Again, yeah, not particularly helpful. We could put that to there. That's slightly throwing gel off to there but that's technically gel abuse therefore it wouldn't be part of the intended solution again technically gel abuse I assume right there Because that would then start to open up a whole load of new stuff that we could like do with kind of like this and different bits and pieces, which I'm really guessing is not intended in the slightest. Because once we get that, we can then start to really abuse the gel. So this is not intended. Indeed, we could. Indeed, we could, however, we will, um, if we carry on down that path, I'm sure we'll end up on Santa's naughty list and um, Christmas will be ruined. But yeah, we could effectively now just like really abuse this whole gel thing here. Just slowly, slowly kind of bring it across here like this. But we need to ignore this because clearly this is not what was intended by said map maker. Well, if you like coal as a present, then I don't know. All right, so we've we've played around with that weighted cube on two of the three buttons. The only button that now is left is that's a fair point. Uh, Chad. Um, the only place that's left now is to place it up the top here, but what does this do for me? What are the ramifications of this? Good ramification. So that spawns that down to the bottom. We can only drop down to here. And as you'll see, we have that on there. So we have no way of now getting access to that cube unless it can be respawned. And I don't see a way to respawn it.
so in my opinion, I've been through all three buttons and I don't see what I can do. Therefore, and maybe the point Sonny was trying to um, why can't Frosty afford a nose? Surely he uses Kara, not coal for his nose, no? Um, so, um, there's one of two things. Either I'm being completely stupid and I'm overlocking something, or the answer is not to not to do what I'm trying to do with the, the edge of safety cube. And if that's the case, I don't I genuinely don't see how else to get it out. Like genuinely I have no idea. Thanks for the stretch. So, all right. Okay, so to uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to ask like a, a question. And it's a sort of question. Is whatever I need to do all contained within this room? Or do I need to use that room as well? So, yes for this room, no for that room as well. It's all contained to this room. I literally have four portal surfaces to work with. Fear goes down to lower level by placing the weighted cube on there. Or causing this cube to respawn. So there's two ways of doing it. We can either place the cube on there like we have done like that. Or we can take this cube. And we can put it on this button here. Meaning we can jump across to this gap when we can jump across that gap before. The difference in doing that now with the cube on that button it allows us to now respawn that cube into there like that. Which is all well and good. But then the minute we the only way for us to get back now is to go through this fizzler. When we do that, the cube then drops back to the floor and we are back to square one. Yeah, spoiler alert, that's not how I sold change. That's not how I sold number one. <laughs> that is not how I solved it. Spoiler alert. But at least we know what we should have done. Um, okay, so. Um,
There's one thing I haven't tried. Well, I gathered that because I'm guessing the one thing I haven't tried and the one thing that I haven't thought of is what I need to do, so... I better put it on there. Place it there, which does nothing. I can place it there, which does nothing because it sends the gel back up. Or I can place it there, which just sends the gel into the funnel and up to the ceiling. Not very helpful. I can place the funnel uh, portal there. Placing the portal there will do exactly the same for that. It will allow us to go through to there, but nothing else. And then it would allow us to loop round in the. It won't allow us to loop around the funnel because of the glass. It would just push us across to the glass, and that would be that. Again, not particularly helpful. If we have a portal on there, we could have gel. We can go through here, as we've already identified, and we can't put a portal on there, or else we can't utilize that portal there. And, and we've been through all three permutations of that one. So... You can see a maybe questionable way of getting it out. I mean, the only other way I was thinking and what I've tried previously is to allow the cube to drop into the funnel and then despawn uh, and like jump through the pot, the fizzler at the right time, whereby the cube's got it's still got enough forward momentum, but it would drop through into the. Um, it would drop through into the through the glass and into the funnel. Now what is the console command for tall portal place? I just Anybody tell me what the command is to do the to place a portal anywhere? I just want to do this. Just to... Oh, I probably need a few cheats on, right? And then, do that one. There we go. Okay, excellent. So, um, we'd have that there, that there. It gets respawned. wasn't uh, 
fruitful. Yeah, I mean, it would be doable, but I'm pretty sure we were told that is... Yeah, so that's doable. But yeah, like I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure KNN said earlier on when we, tr we were trying this that that is not intended. Can be done. Timing is freaking ridiculous, but yes, it could be done. Evolution Sunny Sea is consistent, all the, it's consistent without timing, but it's certainly not something you see all the time. Thanks for that, uh, Dad. Turn everything back off again. Okay. Here's question number two. This is one. That is two. And down there is three. Which button, if any, does the weighted cube need to be on? No, I'm asking. I'm genuinely asking for a hint. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see what... I don't know what vague hints I can ask at this point in time. I'm genuinely, completely got no idea what I'm meant to be doing here. In my mind, I have been through every permutation of where I can place portal and nothing helps me. Unless you guys have got any vague hints that you can give me, then genuinely, I I don't know what to do. Hands hands up, like genuinely, not a clue. So it's something with a fizzless. It's 
uh, it's, it's not. It really isn't, because... I mean, great, I can jump backwards over a gap while holding an edge of C to keep. Thinking backwards has not been helping though, Sonny. <laughs> uh,
the only the only thing the fizzlers can do for me is is to respawn this cube here. That is literally the only thing that this this these fizzlers can do. I mean... That's just pure wizardry. That would be up there if I'd have uh, placed the portals first, but... So, Chad thinks he's got it. What Sonny and Sonny and Libby thought was the solution is being called a bug, so not intended. There's some confusion as to um, what was being called out. I don't know if um, 
Yeah, I think KNN's probably talking about the what I did as opposed to what you guys did, so. Maybe. Just to avoid any confusion. All of this map, man play portal, go crazy in process. First go crazy wins. The end. It is literally ball quest. Because once we get the ball, I know how to solve the rest of it. Okay. Is this it? I don't know how I position this, but in effect, something like that. I don't know why I can't push it, but yeah, I'm thinking lean that up that. in a way that when I open the when I open the green field why is it being so unpanicky we open the green field balls in play right is it but That would be the idea. So we, we would place the... The ESL, ESL, ESC, in a way that it was leaning up against the blue... Yeah, this is, this is why... This is, this is why we don't play Paul like this. Um... We'd lean it up the fizzler in a way that the minute we let go of the the minute we let go of the um, that button there. So what we do is we place this. We come up here. We would place the portals into position. We'd then go back down there, stand on there, and then because this was leaning up there, it would then fall out and then it would drop into there. We would be the right side of the fizzler and then we'd be able to get the cube out. Mm. 
maybe. I mean, it's something I haven't thought of. Okay. I'm really not world class. Not with that performance. That was a shocking performance. Well, we know it's all the rest of it. Um, yeah, that's really... That's hidden well in plain sight. Um... My concerns are that it's, it's a bit of an ob obscure, the right, yeah, it's a bit of an obscure move. It's not something you would normally see, is it? If I'm honest. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's I need to leave this cube here, don't I? Oh, no, leave that there. That's fine. It's outside the box. I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's a bit to physics dependent but that's just me don't you dare my mind right now. That's, that's kind of what I was trying to do, Libby, and I don't know, I just, just didn't find the sweet spot. I suppose it just varies on person to person as to how successfully you can set that up. But it's definitely something that could cause a lot of Frustration. Do we go back to the original exit? Oh, I was a little bit worried there. Ah, <sighs> we still not done. Wait a second, you said there was only two chambers here. Oh, jeez. It's, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? It's just a recurring nightmare. That's not a laser, that's a turret.
Oh, sorry. There is laser chat. I apologize. I mean, I'm not being funny, but this nightmare ain't funny no more. <laughs> So the uh, COVID's getting bigger. Hello, Sonny. Sweet world, buddy. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if I've got the mental capacity to deal with this right now. It's um, getting pretty late, and having sat on this already for a good hour or more, feeling like I wasn't making any progress, to then get the relief of making progress and doing it, to then getting absolutely tricked in that uh, we're really not done after all. I feel like I might need to leave this because, I, like I said, I just don't know that I've got the mental capacity right now to deal with this. But, you know me, I don't like to quit. I do not like to quit. Well, that's unfortunate. So I'm guessing I can get access to a laser cube if that's the case. for the two okay let's do 
Oh, I really need to... Okay, we can do this, actually. Okay, I was... Let's go back and do that, because I, I was under the impression there that I wouldn't have been able to take that across from me. I thought it would get fizzled. It does not. Okay, so now we do that. Catch you later. So we do that, we do that. How do we take out the other turret? So I, you've completely like had me worried for a minute there. I was like, what, 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 what did I miss? I know you're here, Am. I know you're here, dude. Do not worry all this stuff down here as well. Borrow your basketball for this chamber. Excellent. Just what I always wanted.
I just got turned around, didn't even realise. Can I hear another turret somewhere? It's alarming. No, you imbecile. What? Must be all gated, right? Please tell me though, like, Aaron finally shows mercy after this one and like, that's it, you can go home now. Alright, well, we just put the pause in place, we need to respawn this cube because it is dead to us at the moment. So what's the deal with this? Um, what's the deal with this? This map got like a whole a whole new level of um, complicated. Where is that turret? Turret somewhere here that's seeing me. direct the laser anywhere to use the laser on the cube. Um, so we don't know how to get rid of that pesky turret for now. Over here put that in there, there must be a way down into this area here, look. Alright, so that's how we get rid of the cube. That's how we do other bits and pieces. That must be like, is that an easter egg? This looks like a hidden area that maybe we can find later. But uh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm only just seeing what things are. The button piqued my interest.
I wonder if here... I wonder if we want to do, like, the opposite here. Just thinking out loud. Is it even possible to do the opposite? So, rather than having... Put that over there. Instead, would we'll do the cube. I don't think it's going to work, though, is it? And that's the sort of thing I was thinking. Um, let me give you those points back, check, because I'm, uh, I am going to pack up in a moment. I've pretty much reached my capacity. Purpose of this, these. Now, what the purpose of this signage is here? Unless I now, oh, do I do something like this, perhaps? Do I place the cube in the right place and then stand on the button? something there, but I, I don't know. Okay, that would make sense, but what exactly? And how? So I've got to get through this. I've got to get this out first. So I did just have a thought on the on the edge of safety cube. I did have a think about what we might be able to do with that. So what if we, instead of doing bits and pieces, what, run with this cube up here for now. We place that there. We now respawn the edgeless safety cube. Uh, 
Atkins is that. Okay. Okay. Now we just need to do the thing with the thing again. Do we need to do the thing with the thing? Hold on. Wait there a minute. Did I travel through a fizzler here? No, I travelled over so I can take both the but okay, some I don't know, maybe we Is that just for an Easter egg? Is that just an Easter egg? It's not an Easter egg. Oh, you... Yeah. It's not very nice, was it? No, it's all right. Let's go back. Let's take it back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in a U-Haul van. Right, so we're going to respawn this. to set this up again. Deathwish, then you're more than welcome to. Don't like this setup. Is there like a, an easier, more consistent way to do this? This is quite painful.
There is an easy way. There's a much easier way, isn't there? Yeah, I've done things out of sequence. Alright, let me um, do things and stuff. Hold on, let's put this back here. And let me get this one back here. Uh, I probably should have got the cube from over here. Okay. So then we do that. Yeah, because uh, turns out, Coco, uh, this is hell. <laughs> All right. There's a much easier way of doing that. Okay. Wow. All right, turrets in the water. Turrets in the water. The crusher in here. All right, I'm going to ask the question, was this really necessary? So we've done that, we've done that. So now we've done that, we're back to what we had before, right? Okay. I need to keep this portal here. Save here. Okay. 
I can't get rid of that cube though. The uh, this is three cocoa. Okay, um, I think. Uh, I'm not believing you. You said you said number two was the final one in the description, and uh, look where that got us. All right, so we'll do this. Let's do this. And we want that. I did nothing. What is it good for? Absolutely. So the idea there was going to be actually maybe it was just a sequence of events I did in the wrong order okay um, let's go here go back to what we had here which was this and then we got this going in here like this okay then we did this slow it down though. Oh. I need to work out how to um, gel on the other side. It's more compl complex than that because I gel on the other side of the flip panel. But then I also need to um, find a way to get the cubes back. Yeah, this was always going to be the issue here.
need a way to respawn laser while the gel is juggling between two poles. Which is difficult given that I need to persist the portal up there. Obscure idea. Ah, uh, though it wouldn't work. Would it work? Yeah, it might work. Okay. Here's my obscure idea. Do this. And then we're gonna do ignore that one there. Okay. I know there's hydrate in the chat, guys. I was just following through. The idea was there. I don't know how I thought, though, it would have panned out. All right, well... I'm going to call it there, guys, because um, I am completely and utterly spent at this point. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging around tonight. I know this um probably been pretty, um, <laughs> pretty frustrating, to say the least, um, watching. I know I was getting, probably getting a bit mad in the uh, second room, um, but we've We've done, I think we've done some key steps in this third and final room. We just now need to work out how we can um, do the low gel velocity to be able to get some gel on the reverse side of this flip panel. Once we've got that, I think we're in a good position and we'll be able to escape. So I think that's the biggest headache here left for this one. Um, before you all go, though, don't forget... We need to find out who is going to win Deathwish's um, giveaway. And it's between Atom and Test I can't talk right now. If you want to get in this, last chance, it's exclamation mark game giveaway in the chat. Give you 30 more seconds and then we will do the giveaway. While waiting though, I'll say goodbye to YouTube. Bye YouTube. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs> Peace.